Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Honor Bound RNGs. So, so as I the, recall, uh, we were we had just finished killing the Displacer Beast, right? Yes, uh, and you know, um, going on towards the uh, Dragon's Lair. Sweet. It's called okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Why are there any dragons? <laughs> so, you guys, um, what's your character name, Justin? Again, Hamara T. Hamara T. Yeah, so you need to just have it open here. So Hamara, you can actually see a light, uh, a light source, like maybe a fire. It seems more, most likely a fire. About three hours uh, behind on the road you came. Well, the on fire. the track you came. She can, she can see your fire. I can't see anything. Did you start up ahead. a fire? I didn't start a fire. Did you start a fire? Now? Yeah. I mean, if we're making a camp, I will. You know, start to be. I will. Okay. I guess we started a fire. Yeah. Unless you tell me not to, I'm like, okay, no, making camp, making a fire. Getting all cozy out in the woods. Sure, whatever. I probably okay. curl up and go straight. Well, depends out. What's the temperature like? Uh, it's quite. It's, it's the end of autumn, so it gets actually quite uh, okay. cold in the. So we start night. a fire. I had so, can you give mind. me a uh, temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit? About, about five degrees Celsius. So just, were you just drinking from a two-liter bottle of Coke? Honorbound, now, now brought to you by Coca Cola. That's, that's how our whole country got diabetes, Chucky. <laughs> it's true. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm okay. I don't know I what you're to... talking about, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I actually got this as a free for because of I bought a, like a lot of pizzas yesterday for the whole house. Whenever we buy so many pizzas, they bring extra soda for free. Okay. Okay, so um, so we did work to start a roaring fire. I had to pawn my uh, blanket so that I wasn't heavily encumbered. I had to pawn my blanket too, so uh, I, I get myself nice and warm in front of a toasty fire, which I make what with my tinder box. You guys, pawning your blankets. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm weak as shit, dude. I have eight strength. I can't carry a blanket. So do I. I'm carrying stuff. I'm sorry. Do I'm you have a blanket? Um, I don't think maybe. so. It's 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 coming down the line. I'll put it that way. <laughs> um, and as we make camp, I say to Sondor, "You seem a man of the wilderness. Uh, is it safe to sleep, or should we stay up?" Uh, we can let us take watches. You are correct; it is safer that way. Um, we can split down the middle. Yesterday was not a very trying day, so sleep. Maybe for you, but my feet are not used to such travel. Go, get some rest. I will keep watch. Wake me when it is my turn. And I a curl up in front of the watch. fireplace. Yeah. So um, four hours and four hours? Or do you just... How, uh... how are we doing... Um, like, are we doing any sort of fatigue or anything like that? Or are you just incorporating and just doing the healing? I'm just incorporating it as we go on. Uh, I'll say, I'll definitely say that you can do a, like, you can all night, like, you, you're okay. You're, you're okay now. If you continue on, if you continue on more than just one day, I would be asking for constitution saving throws. And we would be going on the same exhaustion rules that we had. So I don't think the exhaustion rules don't, I can't remember what they were. So Anyways. how I how I incorporate them is that if you go on more than uh, one full day, so 24 hours, more than 24 hours traveling or doing anything, uh, most like unless resting, you'll have to you have to only constitute saving throws, and you'll get this exhaustion levels if you fail. Okay. Because I think everybody can pull an all nighter, so I'll not ask you for an only one night. I mean, I haven't slept since last since like. 36 hours ago. So. I mean, Neil has done a 100 and how many hours? 20. A 120. I've done 90 with him on a marathon. You Is pulled the full 90? Did you check in? I, every... I, I checked in every time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did the 90 and then I crashed out and then you kept going for a little while, right? Yeah, no, just like, I think more, at least one hour, but yeah. you know, maybe even less. I can't really kind of trust myself to know the time then yeah it gets awkward at that point you kind of need a buddy to keep an eye on you 
We were on the Skype call. I think I would need a chair. One guy was getting crazy. Like one guy was literally hallucinating. Like one of the people with us. Yeah, he was. They're making fun of me. I've seen this before. They've done this. I dreamt about this. <laughs> he was. He, I'm not joking. Like yeah. I'm not joking. A, very person. few. A very small percentage of the population, like it's under twenty, will actually have like you know visual hallucinations. Um, but it's it's really small, and it the hallucinations are usually pretty minor. Yeah, I'm not even sure if he was just trolling us. Yeah, he was probably. It seemed real because we were very tired. Yeah. Anyway, anyway um, so we probably, I probably stay up most of the night. I'll wake up Neil a little before dawn and catch a power nap. Um, but we probably don't get a full night's sleep. Like I probably, yes. Neil probably gets four. I probably get two or three, and then we get up at first light and keep moving. Okay, I get a full okay, night's so sleep. Okay, so Hamara. After Hamara? after four hours, I'm done with my trance. I, oh, that's uh, right. Continue to move Fucking on. Elves. <laughs> so <laughs> well, you can, if you want to memorize spells, you need to rest for a full eight. Yeah. One second. We are not in the morning yet. We just decided watches. Give me, give, give my dice a chance here. Uh, you continue on killing the. See, Hallows. that was a real roll. The amount of pause between when he rolled it and when he said something was small enough yeah. that you know he didn't fudge that roll. <laughs> I don't fudge that roll. He was actually checking the results. Like sometimes you'll hear DMs like throwing dice to keep their players on edge. Mm-hmm. But it's yes, pretty obvious. So it's what, what you missed while you were getting while you were getting whatever it was you were getting was Chucky admitted that he DM hacks and that he fudges his rolls. I I I, I mean never you can say whatever you want. That's not true. I I never. Justin I never heard it. Rolls, you you defend them to the bitter end. I never admitted. I did not. I just said when I DM hack and the idea of I DM hack like example the the cave. Do you have an uh, earthquake at the same time? You guys just camped in the cave. That was a DM hack. But I don't DM hack uh, rolls. That's not a DM. Rolls That's like a triggered rolls. event. It's not a yes. But which it's take, which undermines the consistency of the universe. <laughs> yeah. So that's or... that's that's basically a DM hack in my mind. That's a DM hack. Eh. No DM hacks are when you like you're like I'm going to roll to hit versus my no. players. Oh crap! Uh, I killed them. Oh, that was a two. That was okay, a one. So you didn't never, die there. Never in combat. Never in combat. So watch the last episode of Dicing with Death to watch watch the DM hacks. That was not DM hacks, guys. There were that was Yeah, see, see that was how does he sound luck. right now? How does he sound right now? <laughs> Did I not sound like this just a few seconds ago? No, I said that was a legitimate <laughs> role. I said that was a legitimate role. No, but you sounded exactly as me, and I, I, I should be. Yeah, and that, that was a legitimate role, so it was legitimate. It's fine. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. So, so Justin gets eaten said, in his sleep and has to roll a new character. Uh, as I said, <laughs> let, me, I'm, let me actually roll for him as well, because he is... Okay. Wow. Uh, funnily enough, you guys hear the wolf house, as I was continuing to say. Um, Sandor, you hear the wolf house at the same distance. Not coming closer, but in the distance, still there. I make note of this. Um, at least in at least normal wolves are not like absurdly aggressive. With yes, I mean like wolves with, I mean, would human sized prey, they'll, they'll keep their distance. We're enough of a threat that unless these are crazy, bloodthirsty Chucky wolves, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am uh, honored that you have named a race of proud creatures uh, by by me. <laughs> if we honored. <laughs> okay, well, you guys uh, go on for the whole night. Well, Hamari goes only for four hours and continues on following the path. Mm -hmm. You get your you don't get your spells back, but you can get a arcane. I don't think you get arcane recovery though. Why don't I get my spells back? Oh no! You, you need, get you need to take a full eight hour rest, regardless of if you're an elf or not. Is my understanding right? No, it says you get the full no, benefit of a no, long rest no, the from trans, four the hours of trancing. Spells as well. No, yeah. I was just going crazy. I mean, I only use so, one. Uh, I thought. I mean, I thought it was the same. Like you can rest to get spells back as a wizard. You, or I mean, as like a non-elven wizard, you can sleep. You need to sleep for six hours and then rest for two. Yeah, you need a full eight hours. But trancing says it gives you the benefit of a full eight hours of rest. Hmm. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, also okay. kind of silly. So you guys, uh, you, I mean, not you guys, Hamari continue, continues on moving and gets to the hilly area. Uh, from this point onwards, it doesn't seem, it's more of a hilly, like, 
steep going on and then you start going low into a valley that is where the tracks are leading you and okay i again make an effort to make the trail very obvious i'll break sticks and uh, smash down grass some going okay um but you are met like in the valley so as you continue on let's you guys continue on your um traveling pace same at 20. Yeah, my tra- no, uh, yeah. So I'm talking, I just realized like we're talking to them. You can you can travel, uh, Sandor and Velmont. At this point, we're like Nasty seven Face. hours behind Justin. Yes. Why don't you, can why don't you guys just do a one-on-one session, and we'll <laughs> hang out here and talk to Twitch chat? Yeah, <laughs> you guys can travel at a fast pace, but that will give you a disadvantage. I won't. Any, no. I know. Okay, so you just travel normal pace. I'm traveling my normal pace trip pace. I'm following the trail. I, I discussed with Sandor. Why do you think these creatures went so far to kidnap someone only to drag them all the way back to their lair? Do you think these creatures I... have some need of this woman? Do, do you think she has information they desire? Uh, I would imagine that this is more of a kidnapping than than simply some animals dragging a woman into the woods. Do you think they, they are going to ask ransom? Why, why kidnap something and drag it away for hours and hours and days away. Hmm. Most most creatures are fairly simple in their motivations. They do things for food, for sex. I would guess it is one of these things and I've already told you that it is not that it is not for food. Otherwise why not eat it outside of town? I see. Well Veldmontarius shall smile upon me soon, I hope. Uh, I have not seen any sign of their camp, but my eyes for these things are not as good as yours. Have you seen sign of such such a such a place? We are still on the trail, and our bumbling new friend is also on the trail. I am mm. a little suspicious that she ran so far ahead so fast. Are you, is she still on the trail? I I, I cannot read the ground. Yes, yes. You see these broken sticks? Mm-hmm. These obvious footprints? She's not a good tracker. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't occur to you that I'm intentionally like Probably making the trail obvious? <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I think we're mostly good. So you guys can see the thing. Um, you are met in the valley, though, Hamara. Mm-hmm. With something rather big, a, a big furry creature you know to be named as a bear. There is a, this moving through the valley. It's quite a narrow valley at this point, about 40 to 40 feet. And the rock slides are about 25 feet high. And this bear is just lazily moving around. It's actually moving towards your direction. Okay, I'll keep moving. Whatever. It's just a bear. You continue on moving and you get maybe within 100 feet. The bear seems to take like... This bear seems to roar at you. It set its feet in the ground. And Am I like moving towards the you. bear or is it just in the yes. same valley? It's, 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 you're in, you're, it's, it's a very narrow valley. As I said, about 40 feet from side to side. And the rock slides above are about 20 feet high. 25 feet high. And this is where the track... This is where the track went by. Okay. Um, so I cast long step on myself, and then I keep moving. So now my speed is 45, and I'm dashing, so it's 90. I just go around the bear. Okay. So you just go around the bear. The bear doesn't, like, you just literally just swim past it. It kind of takes a couple of steps trying swipes at you. Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't even get close. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Nothing. They're, they're, Nothing. they're rolling for flirting to see how long, how far along their relationship is. <laughs> <laughs> I will okay, note that so the, I think a 10 is what um, my Dicing with Death character rolled as well. Yeah. 
Okay, Anyways. so you guys continue on your. I mean, um, when I say you guys, I mean I'm talking to Neo and Ryan, uh, to Sando and Pelman. Continue on your um, your road, and you eventually uh, are and get into the same hilly area, of following the path. Um, and at this point, Hamara, it's about another six hours, maybe even seven in your travels. So you are, you are the first to get here. For them, it's already starting to be like the sun is already a quarter away from sunset. Uh, they've already moved most of the day. Uh, you have you make it where the trail kind of ends. You see it going inside of a a part of this hilly area that is heavily forested. It's just a small part. It's literally by the where the mountains would be starting. Okay. So we've curved like we're basically just south of Onscar. Yes, you're or at about least we will be in six hours. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. And what this... do you do? So what do you what do you do, Hamari? One second, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll go back to you guys and you can ask me whatever you want. Yeah. Uh so we're wait. You you you're we're just south have, of where? On Sky. It's actually not really south. You just continue on. You don't really have a map idea where you are right now. Holy you, shit, I covered a lot of ground. Yes. Okay. Um and I keep moving. I, I don't see any reason to stop. I haven't found the target yet. Okay. Uh give me a perception check as you start moving into this uh heavily wooded area. Ah, Firefox just crashed. Okay, what's your modifier? Uh, it's plus five. Modifier? Someone okay. wants to roll that for me. And the 20 plus five. You're holding nine. It's, right. it's there. I rolled it live. No, that's fine. <laughs> so you uh, don't really see anything until you hear just very high, kind of like high pitched uh, voices talking towards you in a language. What languages do you speak? Uh, Druidic, Elvish, Common, and Dwarven. Do you Jesus, have no you idea know a lot of this, languages. What this language is, and suddenly you are, faced, you are faced with about um, three smallish creatures, one of which is on top of a, a wolf. Yes, so this is, this is a wolf. This guy has a spear in hand. His skin, their skin is green, and they're wearing some kind of red armor on them. And they have uh, like rusted braids to the sides. And this guy actually has uh, a couple of javelins on his back. And the other two to his side that are actually literally like to your left and right have bows and arrows pointed at you. And this is this guy is just. <laughs> Say, Sandor, I hope Pimara hasn't run into anything without our backup. <laughs> it, she might like be screwed. pointing at me. So as soon as he points at me, I, 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 uh, I'll turn and run the other direction. Uh, okay, you, you, um, he points at you. You, you start running the other direction. Roll me initiative. Did you get a hit on you anyway? Because okay. you did not, you did not see them. You're in a surprise round. They did have prepared actions. Oh, that's pretty neat. So if it's a good to go hit and a 15, but I think a 15 is a hit even if I don't look at the modifiers. What's... Depends on the modifiers. Yes, but I... what's your what's your AC? 18. Hey, oh, okay. So my... let me actually open ah. up the character sheets for this because that this guy might might miss. But what is your armor class? 15? 18. 18. 18? Yeah. What the fuck are you wearing? I have plus three decks. That's a 19. That's actually, a, okay. he has a 19 to it. So both of these actually... Of leather. Is there some druid feature that gives you bonus AC? I have a shield. Oh, okay. You have three for decks, plus two for shield. You've got some armor that gives you plus three. Like, studded leather? Three is studded leather. Yeah. Yeah. Studded leather, studded leather is, yeah. plus, is plus two. It's 12. Is it? Yeah. Studded leather is 12 plus... plus decks. Why do I keep thinking... Chain is 13, but that maxes your deck set to plus two. Oh, so, oh, so that's 15, 16, 17. Have... So yeah, I'm AC 17. Hmm. One second. That's the second time I made that mistake, down. too. If you, if you, yeah. if you see that it doesn't I actually matter, just... but... 
Yeah, I was so kind of, I was like, what the fuck, dude? 18, 18 17 still broken as shit, but did you use point by Justin? I well, it's not point by, it's a stat array, but yeah. Yeah, I, I allowed you guys to either use the stat array of 3d6 and put everything wherever you want. Would you use Ryan? Six down the round. Uh, is there any doubt? I used 3d6. Like, six. I used 3d6. Yeah. My highest stat was a 13. My, my question <laughs> is how far away were they when they first like saw me? Yeah, pretty pretty close to you. I mean, they. Uh, it seems like they were keeping sentry here. Like, they were truly just... Like, when this guy pointed at you, they were like, to your left, right, and left side. Okay. Apparently, I'm going to die because so, Chucky can't roll good perception for his characters. <laughs> I can't roll good perception for my character? DM hacks. <laughs> DM, DM life hacks. Okay, so you take three points. No, critical hit. Sorry, this is the only critical hit. So you take two, five, five points of damage from the first attack. And eight points of damage from the second attack. All right. All of that knocks me unconscious. Okay. <laughs> And really to kill the battle music. And uh, yeah, actually, I kill the battle music. <laughs> well, no, wait, wait. On my turn, I get a, I get a DST. DST, yeah, do it. Oh my fucking god! So oh, close. Dude, so close. <laughs> and I, I demand a plus one on that as for compens you for to, you rolling a terrible perception check. You don't need to do any more DSTs. Uh, but they you just screwed Gra you, you until might, you die. You might, Please roll you a new might character. Need to, uh so you actually have a fail on you because i think a fail yeah that's a fail on you Roll me another dst if you are one you might die here no it's okay and then you're stabilized okay you are female aren't you not mm -hmm. yes okay. so then you're stabilized <laughs> <My parents>. <laughs> right <laughs> Well, well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. You haven't even gotten there. So they leave. So, they leave Justin alive, or should he start rolling a new character? No, 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 no. You're still alive. Well, luckily Justin has a, a character already pre-rolled that can just hop into the campaign immediately. <laughs> yeah, because he had two characters rolled up. All right. Okay. So um, you guys continue on your. I mean, yeah. You, so did uh, we barely, just? We just barely, reached the entrance to the valley that you described. You barely, yes, entrance of, of the valley. Barely. Uh, that's, Barely, <laughs> barely um, reach the entrance of the valley when the sun starts to set. I should get XP for beating that bear, for the record. You just no. like circled around it, didn't you? Yeah, but I defeated it. That's you didn't defeat out. it. I, you you avoided it. The bear I defeated you. I circled so the threat. Like, like, if you meet the dragon and you teleport away, you don't get XP for it. <laughs> the bear <laughs> made you move out of your path, and the bear stood its ground. The bear won that That's fight, scary. my friend. If the, the dragon's bear, guarding yes. something, and I teleport past it to steal the thing I want, and then go. You don't away. get XP for defeating the dragon. <laughs> yes, you get XP for stealing that, but you don't get XP for defeating the dragon. <laughs> there are ways to get XP for defeating creatures without actually killing them, but teleporting around them is not one. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I think we'll probably make camp at the entrance to the valley. Is it dark? It's, he said sun was setting when we reached the valley. Yeah. It starts to set. You can continue on through the valley if you want. So to. Justin must have just, he reached the cave at sunset or something. I don't know. Um, he reached the cave at sunset. So uh, out of game, this will take you about, actually, no, you don't need to know that. You continue on. Yeah. I think we make camp at the, mm -hmm. at the end. Of, I mean, the sun setting, we were pretty tired now. I mean, we didn't sleep well last night. And Okay. At the, when we make camp, I hand you another gold coin. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting to get gold from you. It turns out, uh, Neil, that uh, you can, I don't know if you caught this, but you can sell back the equipment that you pawned. Oh, I did not sell it. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah you, I can, didn't you either, can sell back the equipment you don't want for, for market cost and use it to buy other things. That's why I have oh, sold it other. Okay, okay. Well, think is then I am fucking loaded. <laughs> I was about to say that I, I can't afford to pay you for very much longer, but... Do you, need, do, you, do you want any type of armor? Do you need uh, money? Fuck for that. I want money. Give me cash money, Will. <laughs> okay. No, I was just asking because it might be relevant to the fact if we get into combat soon. So we should do that here. But you can just do that in the background if you just uh, want the money. Yeah, I'm going to do the... Um, I'm just going to money it up right now. So we'll try and find a defensible place for a camp. Maybe climb to the top of the hill, yes. to the top you of the valley. Easily, from, right, from the entrance, you can easily go on to the top of the valley. Yeah. And we'll make a fire. 
Okay. Um, and I guess we'll look out into the valley. It looks like a deep valley. Like it goes another couple of hours it, through the hills. It goes on for at, from what you can see, at least maybe two, three hours, maybe a bit more. And that's where kind of the line of the mountains mm -hmm. it is very visible. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you guys well, we, the night? Yeah, we probably split the night. Um, yeah. How long is that? You said it's fall, so it's probably about ten hours of darkness. Yeah, so you can uh, you can either sleep this yeah. whole thing over, or you can just sleep eight hours. We'll split it. West. We probably won't get a full night's sleep. I mean, we'll probably each get five hours or something, and then yeah, start moving at first light. Yeah, I would like yeah, to this be would basically that you get, you don't get exhaustion on you, but we, you don't get any benefit of a short rest. Yeah, for we a don't day need, is a short rest. But we don't need a rest. We just we're just role playing. Okay. Being reasonable so people. I'm gonna actually jump a bit to Hamari. Um, okay. Hamari, after about, right, so let's, let's make sure whatever you're this. you're doing is Twitch safe. Yeah. It's. Uh, do you have an appropriate content on? I do. You can go ahead. You can discuss these things, but let's not talk about. You know, let's not describe in detail the 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 gory events. elements of her death. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Oh, that's no. That's fine. We're yeah. we're talking about. <laughs> I know, I know. Non-consensual uh, sexual encounters. Yes, that's pretty much where we draw the line. They they can so, happen. They just you know, let's let's refrain from discussing the too detailed. I, I I know. I've been I've been here for a long time. I know. Okay, good. I thought you were new to Twitch for a moment. I... <laughs> yeah. So you wake up, um, and just after a couple of hours. You're in some sort of a cave. You, you still have everything on you besides your weapons. You are so besides my my staff. That's all. Yeah, only besides your staff, I had. Yeah, besides your staff, you and your backpack is not on you. It's like to this. You can see it to the side. Uh, it's ransacked. Like everything is kind of chicken, taken out of it. Wait, so I wake up after an hour. A couple of hours, actually. Well, I, after one hour, I would roll my hit die. Oh yeah, yeah, you roll hit die. You're right. Hit die? So you wake up at four HP. Yeah. So after, uh, if you're unconscious, if you have any head die left after one hour, you completely wake up. The one before that's is the house actually... rule, isn't it? No. Like, yeah. I thought you no what? no that's that was brother my head dice when unconscious. Yeah. No. You come back if you are stabilized at zero. You come back in one d four hours with one HP. If you have no hit dice left. Yes. If you have no but hit, if you have dice, hit left. dice left after an hour, you can spend them if you want to. Whatever. Carry on. I don't know. <laughs> There's no so prices wait. for scroll case or winter blanket. How winter much you blanket? There is, there's there a bed roll. Price for you got a winter blanket. winter blanket, not a bed roll? Uh, yeah, I have a winter blanket, not a bed roll. Winter blanket is just, I think it's actually... Just make it 1.5 times one the cost of a winter blanket. I, I think it's a gold piece, if I'm correct, a winter blanket. The winter blanket is something you can buy. It's, no, it's so not. There's a blanket, but there's no winter blanket. I'm okay, looking just, at the page. Just make it 1.5 times the cost of a normal blanket because yeah. that is like approximate. Okay. Cool. So you wake up. Uh, you can see another golden haired, uh, tied up and gagged female to be like sleeping in another corner. Oh, I t am I tied up? You are tied up as well. Okay. Is there anyone around besides? There is a wolf in chains, maybe about 10 feet, kind of like <sighs> sweeping. Okay. And there is this creature, the same. It looks a bit the same like the other one, but this guy has a uh, <clears throat> necklace made out of bones. There's like a small squirrel skull on his. On, on, <gasps> the yeah, skull lied. <laughs> and a couple of other like bones, and he has like bone earrings, and he has an eye patch. One of his eyes seems to be missing. And he looks at you and says, Yeah, you come and speak, yes? Um, I'm going to like put some fear into my voice. Yes. Yeah. Is your breath pure? Tell me or I kill you. Um, yes. <laughs> Good. Nisha, you have the great honor to be sacrificed. <laughs> you will earn me the power of my God. If your body is not pure, 
we will burn you alive. That sounds fair. <laughs> Is this happening soon? Or... The moon must be aligned. That's why this one is alive. Okay, so it's gonna be a while. So can I have some like food and water? No. Food and water. You don't need them. Well, you know, if it, but sometimes moon aligning takes like a couple weeks, and if if you don't feed us, we die, and then you can't sacrifice us to your god. You purify your blood by not eating and drinking. If you if you're close to dying, then your blood is not pure. Oh, okay, well, that, that, that makes sense. You're, you're not a zealot of any kind. Jiffy! Mm. And he starts barking something in Goblin, and the wolf kind of, like, wakes up and snarls a bit at you. I can't and speak with animals. You cannot cast a spell while uh, you're... And unless it only has verbal components, you cannot cast that spell. That's actually luck. I have to get um, myself out of this before. So I would appreciate a, a page number where you're getting this hit dice thing that you were talking about. Because to my knowledge, you once I mean you gain one HP after one d four hours, and then you can't you can only expend hit die when you are taking a short give me, rest. So so we do this in the break. Justin, give me one d four. Okay. Just to make it real fast, and if it's a if it's above, okay, two. It's exactly two. Exactly the hours she woke up after. So we're just going to keep it at, at two because you're still sleeping. And we're going to make sure that it's this, this. I looked into it because somebody mentioned it in a comment, I think, on YouTube. And I found the page number, uh, I think, in the DMG or in the PHB. I'm, I'm not sure, but I know that this is uh, what we've been using in the other campaign as well. I'll make sure. We'll search okay. it in the break. So, so you can... So so I, I think it's the house rule, but you're, but that's fine. You're saying no, you can spend hit dice. Expending hit dice doesn't require an, an action. You can do it while unconscious. So after an hour, but you have to have a short rest. Well, but, uh, if you're unconscious, you're not doing anything. And short rests are eight hours. With the resting. Well, with the, with the are we not rule. using those optional rules anymore? We actually, that's, that's a good point. With the optional rule, it, it actually they're eight hours, so that wouldn't. Yeah. Apply. I forgot about yeah. that. Uh, okay. Me, me, uh, same here as well. So, yeah, so we'll are we, using two the hours. Rules or no? we are using the optional rules. I totally forgot about that. Okay. That's so, yeah, so she, she wakes up not from using a head die. So, you wake up only at one HP, not at four. That's fine. And you wake up after two hours. And I have the same conversation. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the exact same conversation. Well, um, I guess I'll just wait here until you're ready to sacrifice me then. Hmm. Yes. Yes, you will. You will. You know this lady? Is it from the same uh, human uh, village? She's, she's actually a child, and I've never met her before. Child. Yes, yes, even more. No man has touched him. Her. Good, good. Even more pure blood. Has any man touched you? I mean... Are you a man? Because you must have picked me up and carried me here. You know what I mean, human. Speak. Or point ears. And don't give the same to me. Your question's very vague. <laughs> he kind of tries to... to... Slapped. <laughs> have you... Has any man touched you in... <clears throat> that way? Babies, with you. I think. I think you do the same thing. Humans. I've never seen humans do. I've, I've never had a baby. Good. Good. Good sacrifice. <laughs> and he he starts. Gotta be a cobalt or something, right? Shuffing away. You have no idea. Do you want me to roll? An, do you want to owe me a nature check? Come on, they're, they're riding. Yeah. Kobolds what? don't ride creatures. In character, in character. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea what this creature is. Uh, he kind of like stumbles out with his like small little staff and with a bit of a hub. Um, and that's about it. 
Well, as soon as, he, are, as soon as he's like leaves and doesn't come back for maybe ten or fifteen minutes, I'll start trying to trying to untie myself. Oh, so you can't. Uh, so you can't cast that. You are. You try. You try and start to untie yourself. The wolf is still awake. Did you mention that? Okay. Um, can I roll an animal handling Side check to like? You can. You cannot animal handling unless you have full use of your awareness. Okay. Well, I'll I'll roll a deck sleight of hand check to untie myself. Okay. Let me roll the side of hand check for Goblin. Let's do Dex modifier. Two, that's actually two for exactly goblins. enough. Yeah, that's actually exactly enough. So you, I get myself untied. Yeah, you get yourself untied. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it really just opposed side of hand checks to untie yourself? That's Chucky's house rule. I don't know what the there's no actual rule for it. There's no actual rule for it. It's just you have a normal DC. It seems like it's it. easier to tie someone up than to untie yourself. Yeah. But, like it's just as equal easy to untie yourself as it is to tie someone like you know whatever I'll, I'll accept it in this situation but whatever i tie up a goblin i don't want it to be opposed to sleight of hand checks i, I will argue for massive advantages to my side can that put you have an advantage while tying somebody up that's unconscious that would give you a bonus to it but i mean the only reason you should have an advantage tying someone up is if you actually know how to tie someone up yeah, so in yeah, you, if you are proficient in I mean, the only reason you should be able to untie yourself is if you know how to untie yourself. Yeah, it's also true. I'm, I'm, right. good, with the, I'm good with both of those. Yeah, so whatever. There's not an actual... There's no proficiencies or anything in this. There's no nope. way to implement that. It's, in D &D. it's house rule only. <laughs> Every adventure should probably have proficiency in tying people up. At least all the good ones. Evil ones doesn't really matter as much. Anyone that wants an adventure should have a proficiency in tying someone up. Uh, agreed, a hundred percent. Okay. Well, uh, you you try and you tie you tie yourself. And my my pack is like off you to the side. Yourself? Yeah, and it's uh, as I said, it's land stacked. Okay. Um, I grab my pack. Are my berries still in there? Your berries are not in there now. Damn, I really wanted those berries. Yeah. Besides, um, actually, tell me what you had. What you had in your pack? Uh, I'll had the stone, and if they took that, shit's about to get real. Yeah, the stone is definitely taken. Okay. It's the seal on it, shiny, definitely taken. Oh, well, that's they're gonna die now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna kill all of them. So you just take like, you just uh, just to give you an idea, you just do this with your hand and take the pack. The wolf is still staring at you, snarling. Yeah, I'll get around to the wolf. I'll get around to the wolf. I'm not, like, moving. I'm just, like, going through yeah. my back. Um, so... I sold all my rations and all my torches. <laughs> all the rations are taken. The torches I, 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 are taken. No, I sold this. So there was a disguise kit, thieves tools, an herbalism mm -hmm. kit. Um... Let's see. And some money. And my couple of Money balls. is definitely taken. Uh, the thief's tools are taken. The Hellboyism tools, not taken. Okay. And everything else is still there. Okay. So I have a disguise kit. You have a disguise kit that's still in there. Just totally useless. Um, so I'll cast Speak with Animals. Okay. And I'll talk to the wolf. What do you say to the wolf? Uh, you look very unhappy being trained up like that. <clears throat> Don't move. Master told me to eat you if you move. And I'm hungry. Oh, they don't feed you? They feed me well, but um, I like blood. Ah, sweet taste of blood. Do you like being pet? You know, there's always that spot on the back of your neck you can't get scratches, like right behind the ears. No. You, you don't I, have it? Have you tried it? Don't move away to you. But, but have you tried being scratched behind the ears? He snarls at you. Okay. So it's chained up. Is the chain long enough to reach me? Yes. Definitely. It seems like it's the chain can reach everywhere in the room, 
but the door, like basically like the 10 feet, like the door area and five feet before it, it can't reach there. Okay. Is the door open? The door is closed. Did he, well, actually, did he, like, is it, did he lock it or something when he left or is it just like closed? It's, I mean, you didn't hear a click. You just door closed. Okay. Hmm. If I could get out of here, I could probably stealth, but the wolf's not prone. All right, um, I back up as far away from the wolf as I can get, and I go into a trance. Okay, so you go into a trance. Let's go to everybody. Oh, guys, you sleep the night. You, you wake up. This is the middle of the night, isn't it? I mean, it's kind um, of... Oh, I actually, I cast good berries, and then I go into a trance. Cast good berries. Okay, yeah, then you wake up because it's been, she moved out. It's been two hours since you woke up, and then four hours. I'll see you guys wake up. So the following morning? Yes, the following morning. All right, we break camp and start trekking. We head back down into the valley and try and find the trail again. And continue to follow it into the valley. Okay. Okay, if you guys continue on for the valley. Um, do you want to do anything specific, Hamari? Well, you do like when you wake up the next day. You can after, use after it. four hours. Yes, you can use your. Uh, yeah. Your what do you call? Yeah, this is this is a bit annoying because you need to keep track of how many hours in game. You split the party. Back, yeah, I back. I use um, yeah. I use nine of my good berries to feed myself, so I'm back to full HP. Or actually, eight of them. And then I cast animal friendship on the wolf. It must succeed on a uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay, uh, just give me. Uh, let's see if. No, let's see if it's awake though. It might change stuff. No, it's asleep. So you wake it up doing that. It yeah, it fails on the uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, so what does that do? The beast. It's charmed by me for the spell's duration. If I harm it or one of my allies harms it, the spell ends. But until then, it's completely charmed by me for twenty-four hours. Mm, you? Mm. I don't remember you. You're good. I like you. Yeah, I, I scratch him behind the ears. I'm like, I'm your, I'm your new best friend. <sighs> uh, how is that chain locked around its neck? Um, it has a weather harness that kind of like the weather harness goes around and the two iron lock, or iron like semicircles here that the chains go through and it scraps together. But it, the, the thing, the part around his neck is leather? The part around his neck is leather. You could easily cut it. Yeah, so I cut that off. Uh, I untie the little girl. Is she like awake? She is awake, but she seems beaten. Okay, I pick her up, she which I could probably barely do. You barely do. She is not in a condition to move too much. That's fine. Uh, I, get on, I get on top of the wolf and I, I like, Good Wolfie, good Wolfie, we're going to play a game. The game's called Keep Away. We're going to try and keep the little girl away from everyone else for as long as we can. I need you to just run outside and just bolt. Okay. Good doggy, good doggy. Pet the doggy. One second, new map. <laughs> um, I grab my pack too. Don't forget anything. Yep. Give me one sec. So you are right here in this map over on here. This is the this is the little cave. This is where the door is at. Okay. And we'll just bring you out a druid token real fast. Okay. Okay, that's the first jewel token we have. So this is the one we use. This is your jewel token. So Hamara, there you have it. So you can control it. Oh, I just scrolled down, okay. I'm on the dog um, and we, like I literally want it, like I don't know where how to get out so i want i'm giving complete direction to the dog i want the, or the wolf to like bolt outside so can you speak to it yeah 
the, the next uh, ten for the next ten minutes. Okay. It's right. Mm. Goblin outside door. Well, you, but goblins are slower than you, right? Because you're the fastest. You're the fastest, bestest dog ever. Mm. Yes. And and he won't attack you because you're his friend. It's it's just a game. Maybe you could hit him with the door as we go out. Water. Deep water. On this side and the other. Can I you... don't seem well. Don't swim well. Uh, um, okay. Uh, so can you just jump over the goblin? You're a good jumper, right? Good jumper. I can jump over. Good. Let's, let's jump. Okay, and let's see what happens. Actually, this is the time for this. Um, so, do you have do you, do you have your you have the child on the wolf's back, or do you have it in uh, your hands? Um, like I have the child cradled in front of me on the wolf, so I'll put her legs on either side and like hold her against my chest, and then I'll grip the the uh, wolf with my legs, so I have a, like a seat. Okay, it's gonna be hard riding it. Because you are a medium creature, and it is a medium creature. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm light. I don't weigh that much. Yeah, no. Medium creature is hard to ride another medium creature. So I will That's not my say experience, that but okay. A dog that is as big as you, it's not that easy to... Well, not as big as you, but a medium dog. Like, it's, it's hard riding a dog. That's that size, unless it's fairly larger than you. I assumed it was like a dire wolf. It's an actual dog. No, it's an actual wolf. Oh, okay. Standard wolf. Die wolf? <laughs> I don't know. It could be. Okay, so um, you go um, and you open the door. Or does he smack for the I, I want him to like smash. I want him to push through the door. Okay. He pushes for the door, and you have a complete surprise round upon this goblin that was just sitting in front of the door. Dash. Dash, dash, dash away all. Okay, give me one second. So you guys are basically over on here. Is this a scale? This is to scale. Every score right. is five feet. So I'll have him like move up to the door and be like, one, two, three, and go. So we get a full dash like round. Yeah. Which yeah, I guess is 70 feet line. for him, right? Where do you move though? Right or left? Uh, well, I go straight at first. I mean, this is straight. That's like you open it, this you see the other end of the wall. Oh, well, I go here. Uh, left. Right? So down so this hallway. Would... Okay. My well, left. As, as, soon, as soon as you start going left, you see another two goblins um, kind of in the way. It's like actually exactly in the way. They seem to be standing guard around something as well. You can see the glimpse of a chest uh, somewhere around here, wooden. So are these cliffs going up or down? These cliffs are going down. Okay, in that case, I want the, the wolf to jump over the goblin and then jump over the other goblin. Okay. So I don't the... see a right. Was right an option? Yes, the right is an option. I, like, I don't see anything over there. One second, I need to reveal this as well. Oh, so that's like a stand. Ah, uh, the dog knows the way outside, right? It knows where outside is. It told you that both ways deep water. What do you do? I, I, uh, I tell it to go outside. Where the giant ball of fire in the sky? Find the giant ball of fire in the sky. Okay, so we'd actually try and jump over on here. Uh, its strength score is about 12. It has a 10 feet running start. Um, jumping... It can long jump 12 feet. If its strength so score is 12. 10. It can actually jump on the other side over on here. But then he just... He is on sheer and, and says real fast. Ah, I need to bite. Ah, need no. If no bite, no bite. It's tag. You, you have to play getaway. You have to play getaway. Okay, so he's just he is not running, and now he's in the water. He's he just going through this water. Yeah. He jumped into the water. Okay. He jumped into the water. That seems unlikely. 
You said you said giveaway. You said giveaway. You are he's charmed. Yeah, I said. I mean, I said play keep away from the goblins, but I also told him to go outside. Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be any other way. Okay. From what you see. Oh, well, keep going. Let's see. Give. Actually, what you give it? Uh, give me a one d twenty, plus plus one. Twelve. It's not bad. This yeah, this wolf is barely keeping afloat. Uh, so it will spend the rest of its movement kind of getting on around here. Okay. Okay, so this is what you see in front of you. Okay. And well, tell him to keep going. Oh, it's all initiative. I'm hoping that this initiative. works out for me. This seemed like such a good idea. Okay. God exactly. damn it. My first... No, why? <laughs> initiative high is I know, I know, but it's, I could have used that earlier. That's all. Well, okay, you go first. So what do you do next? Do you, do keep you moving. Okay. Straight ahead. As far as I can tell, this is a tunnel. Like, there's only one way to go. Right? Seems like it, yeah. Seems okay. like it. I just keep moving. One, give me one sec. So you see, like, you continue on moving, and then you are met with uh, goblins standing kind of around, playing what seems to be a game of uh, bones. They're throwing bones around. Um... You move from there. You move 10, 20 feet. You have moved twenty feet. Uh, I asked. I asked the dog. I asked the dog outside to the left. Outside front. As goblins. Outside straight. Yes. Okay. Um. So I will cast fog cloud. Okay. So what does fog cloud do? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I create a 20-foot radius of sphere of fog centered on a point within range. The sphere end spreads around corners, and its area is heavily obscured. It lasts the duration or until a wind of moderate greater speed disperses it. I'll cast it on the goblins, and then I'll tell the wolf to just go straight through and jump over again. Okay, he goes uh, straight through and jumps forward. You can hear shouts of goblins behind you. And you jump over on here, and in front of you, you can see a uh, heavy iron door. Is it locked? <laughs> or is it, is, it, is it closed? It's closed. Shit. Um... It, uh, the wolf has moved its... Uh, it's full move. It, it has already moved its... And, and, I, can, and I have an action, so my turn's over. Yeah, so just move this full move. That's it. Okay, it's their turn, I guess. It's their turn. The two goblins that are in the mist fog, uh, do they see you? Is your is vision it's, impaired for them? It's heavily obscured. Okay, so they can still see you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to roll a... Um, well, you we have it on your arm, so this would be a back attack. So I'm going to roll 1d2. One will be the wolf, two will be, the, two will be you. Okay, roll it twice. Okay, so one javelin is coming at an advantage attack for the wolf and for you. Dice on the ground. There's actually dice in my t shirt. Okay, that's a. The wolf attack is first. AC 13. That's a hit. Hit that's on the wolf. Exact hit. Hit the wolf. Roll me a 2d8 plus 2. Because he is currently acting as your hunter. It's not bad. Okay. He takes eight points of damage. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He has seven, seven seven hit points left. And then an advantage attack at you. Miss. Which is a 15. That's a miss. Even without a shield, that's a, that's a miss. miss. No, no, sorry. Not 15. They have a four, plus four on the javelin. Oh, sorry, that's, that's a, a 19. Though. Yeah. I completely... That's very different. Point. Those are very different yeah, numbers. I know, I know. You take... Seven points of damage. Oh, Jesus. That hurt. Okay. Okay. And then they start, like, shouting. And, and goblin. So I, um... On my turn, uh, I'll try and push open the door. Or I'll, you like... Start, yeah, you start pushing. Do, do you or the wolf push? Um, actually, I'll, yeah, wolf, I'll have the wolf push it up. I'm like, put your paws up. Push. So the wolf starts 
pushing, the door eventually goes open. And on the other side, you can see a small clearing and then heavily wooded area. Uh, and you can, you can also see two goblins that were standing guard and now have um, arrows pointed at you. Okay. In just a split second. Well, the fog cloud spills out behind me because it goes around corners. So I'm now heavily obscure. Oh, actually, they wouldn't have had advantage because heavily obscure them is disadvantaged to attack people in heavy obscure. Okay, so then the wolf, the wolf would not have hit. The wolf would not have been hit. So that's four HP on the wolf. Okay, eight HP on the wolf. Eight, well, full fifteen. I mean. Yeah, full HP on the wolf. Yeah. And then I still would have been hit. You still would have been hit because the, that was the face hit. All right, that's fine. Okay, so still have your movement, but they still attack you. So they will have again one, two, one, the twos. Let's see, same. Oh, two attacks on you. That's your front attacks, and, though. Yeah. So no now they're rolling at disadvantage because they're front attacks. You're right, disadvantage. Since you roll that again. Oh, so if I misses, the arrows just go in behind you, just past your ear. They do not hit. Okay. Okay. So I, the, I the bolt pushes as open. fast as I can. You bolt as fast as you can. Yeah. As soon as the as soon as the wolf opens the door, I'm like, good, 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 wolf. Now run. The the wolf runs about forty feet, okay. uh, considerably more away than what the foliage is. The foliage is about one hundred twenty feet away. All right. If there's anything between us and like anything else, I'll try and like if there's a tree or. It seems you know. like most of it has been cut down. Okay. The only thing that you can find are basically stumps. Okay. Well, I'll. Yeah, even a stump is like partial cover, right? No, not really. Not these, right? Like, not for a medium creature. For a small creature, yeah, but not yeah. for a medium creature. All right, I guess that's the end of my uh, my turn. So you move your full movement, so that would be seventy feet. Because forty-five and forty-five, you didn't mm -hmm. use an action. Yeah, I don't use an action. I just tell him to move. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this down. He is about forty feet. Do you have the? Uh, do you have her in your arms? Yeah, I still have her in my arms. Okay, so that might mean you're encumbered. She's more than 20 pounds. Well, I'm on the wolf. So the if you're on the wolf, the wolf the can only covered. move 40 feet. Uh, because the right. wolf used his action to push open the door. That's true. I, I'll dismount from the wolf. Uh, I shouldn't be encumbered, actually. I'll leave my... I'll leave my... How much you can... How, how much can you carry? She's about... She's about 70 pounds. I she's about 70 pounds? So I'd I be encumbered. I think 70 pounds is a... Is it um, how... I'll, I'll leave her on the wolf and I'll be like, good wolf, good wolf, remember the game, let's keep her away from the goblins. Okay, there's nothing to strap her to the wolf. Yeah, I know, but... I mean, you can't you can put her on the wolf, but there is a big chance that she'll fall. Uh, I mean, I've seen sen I've seen dogs who like have kids right around on them. The kids just don't do anything, and the dog can keep them on, but it's something he's that's still... practiced. Yeah. He might not have ever practiced that. Oh, he's used to being ridden, right? You're not sure. I can't like tie her on as a bonus action. Unless you actually use your action. Yeah. Um, screw it. I'll just depend on getting missed and keep riding the wolf. Okay, you keep on to get, running, to get as far wolf. away as possible. So that's forty. Actually, no, I, that's a bad idea. I'll stay in the fog and use my action to uh, somehow use like the strap of my bag to tie her onto the wolf. Okay. That's my so action. you, yeah. So you, I'm staying in the fog cloud. You're in the fog cloud. So the wolf hasn't moved yet. Right. Okay. So you strap her on, and that's and now it's their turn. You have two goblins that are trying to shoot at you, and another two that are coming out from here. Again, they're all attacking at disadvantage. Yes, these ones are attacking you with their short swords. Too many attacks. Um, I guess we'll get here. That's one, two, three, four. So that's eight d six or eight d twenty. Each two by two is an attack. Okay. So fourteen, fourteen. So that's an eighteen. Oh Jesus! Why do you have to crit? That's 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 a crit. You, at least at least the nineteen and twenty are together, because they didn't crit. It's a nineteen. The disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. But use a hit. Okay, so two hits on you. Are they, all, are they all attacking yeah. me? They're attacking you. All of them? Uh, the f 
first and the last attack. Only two attacks that hit. Okay. One eighteen and one at a. Yeah, but they're all attacking me. Yes. Okay. Three points of damage. Okay. And five points of no. Five points of damage. Yeah. Okay. I fall unconscious again. Okay, does your charm still last? Yes, it's 24 hours. It doesn't require concentration. Okay, so does what, what does your wolf do? The the it, Well, it's playing keep away. It, it knows the game. The game is keep yeah, the girl away yeah, from yeah. the goblins. Yeah, so on... On his turn, it bolts. Uh, and it bolts. I probably fall off. Yeah, or maybe not. Off? I don't. Well, actually, if I tied the girl on and I was no. holding on to the girl, there's a chance I would stay on the wolf. Give me a 1d20. If you if you roll very high with which you keep on staying low. No. Rolled an eight. You fall. Okay, so I fall off. Okay, the wolf gets advantage attack. Well, uh, okay. Well, there's a critical hit on the wolf as he bolts away. The wolf takes ten points of damage. But he's still up. Yeah, he's and fine. And he runs away. Awesome. Okay, so you go unconscious, and let's go back to our. Um, Oh, because Bruma and Sandor feeling bad for Well, we there. should take our second break here. And <laughs> we we'll see you guys second. on the other side of our break. Bye-bye.